we have my little cat here and my name is Kiki and we're gonna be playing a little game called Carol is Famous I found that game very ra randomly on Steam and it was part of my recommended section you know, you have like a queue and Steam recommends you games I found it there, I know nothing about the game I'm going in like pretty much blind and basically I know it's a very humorous game it's very short, it's only like 120 megabytes so it's a small short game it's really supposed to be just a funny little distraction so um, let's just yeah let's just play it and see what it is I read a couple of reviews they said that it's a pretty funny game um, it's like 30 minutes maybe a little bit more and that's that's literally like all I know about the game so I don't know let's just uh, see what it's all about and I'm excited to start playing it so, let's start with the game. And let me just open it up. Like I said, I only read the reviews on Steam, so they were pretty good. Some of them are like very funny, and but a lot of them were very helpful. So let me just open up the game. And let me just double check my settings over here. So, okay, F11. Since I've not recorded for like a long time, so I need to kind of freshen up my knowledge of it. I'm a little bit rusty, but guys, I'm gonna get back into it. I'm like, I'm really, I'm committed to going back to filming uh, YouTube videos because I genuinely enjoy it. And not a lot of people watch, only like a couple of people. And that is including my boyfriend, who is so supportive. But um, yeah, um, I just enjoy it and I wanna do it more. So, here it is, um, this is Kyle is Famous, and it's by John Szymanski, I think, Szymanski probably, yeah, he's, he's Polish, he must be. So, let us start. Kyle wakes up, he's famous, okay, more. Kyle is host of the most popular talk show in recent memory, Stay Up Late with Kyle. Okay, that is very interesting. Stay Up Late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year and the public has noticed. Also, Kyle is very famous. And the site has called uh, Kyle a most excellent dumpy white man. <laughs> Top Tech noted that Kyle is inspiring youth to explore STEM fields, which is very good. We need more scientists, more people in STEM. Most other talk shows are dedicated to discussing Kyle and his personal details. <laughs> okay, that's. That's all very good. Most online videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcast. Okay, the eye of the world is upon Kyle. Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Okay, so that is that's interesting. He's gonna have a guest on his show and it's gonna be someone pr pretty important, I guess. Stay Play with Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. She's kind of she's a kind of lovely philanthropist. Okay, so we have Rachel over here. Um, and she is dear to the hearts of many. The interview requires preparation. So, we're just gonna prepare for this, um, you know. Kyle cracked his eyes open knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. So, my guy Kyle was a little bit of a procrastination bird. So, let's see, Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his actions wisely, okay. We must start preparing. His first decision of the morning was made wisely which is to either wither away or exit the bed <laughs> okay i think we're gonna exit the bed and try to make the most of our time here kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom he can scavenge exit bedroom to the hallway sit at his desk or open the closet well basically the first thing you should do when you wake up is like change your clothes brush your teeth get ready for your day so kyle opened oh and actually we have time until interview every single action takes us one hour, I think, so far. So, Kyle opened the closet. It was dark and he could only really see his hanging shirts. Okay, we're gonna choose an outfit. Uh, Kyle decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit, knowing how important appearance is. We can do a suit of armor. Oh my god. You guys know I'm going with the suit of armor, dude. Kyle was unsure of what exactly caused him to decide to wear his armor, but it felt like the right thing to do. <laughs> of course. You're preparing for, like, a very important interview, you have to make a good first impression. And 
what looks better than a knight in shining armor, okay? <laughs> so, after much squeezing and sweating, Carl managed to wrap the metal suit around his dumpy self. <laughs> He returned to the center of the bedroom so he can exit the bedroom. He walked into the small hallway that connects the rooms of his apartment together. Well, check lock door. Well, he checked the lock door. Okay, uh, maybe move to kitchen. Walk to the center of his kitchen. He can open the fridge. Open the fridge intending to find something to eat. Eat condiments, prepare breakfast, eat the crust on the fridge wall. Oh my god. Oh, that's so nasty. Kyle has to clean his fridge. Oh my god. Okay. Which reminds me, I gotta clean our fridge. So, eat the fridge. Let, let's just... Let's just eat the goddamn fridge, okay? Okay. Let's just eat it. <laughs> Kyle pointed his neck directly upwards and hoisted the fridge on top of his face. Somehow, miraculously, he wrapped his mouth around the device. He started to swallow. <laughs> In one slow, horrible movement. Ooh, that was a that was a bad sound. That was a bad sound. <laughs> In one slow, horrible movement, the fridge slid down Kyle's throat. After many gurgles, pops, and snaps, Kyle felt relatively sure the fridge would not come back out. <laughs> He walked to the center of the kitchen and we can return to the hallway. Kyle walked into the small hallway that connects the rooms to his apartment. And we can okay leave the leave the apartment. Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and took a long pondering look around him. Visit the the, the neighbor or the tech store? I'm honestly not too sure. Uh, let's just visit the tech store. I don't think I don't think I should be overthinking these things because it's just a funny little game. So, visit the tech store, like, eff it, okay, eff it. Just visit the goddamn tech store. <laughs> Kyle walked into the clean white tech store. He was greeted by Techno Jim, an elaborate cutout mascot with flashing lights. We can, okay, let's just, let's just fucking steal, oh, excuse me, let's just steal Techno Jim, okay? What do we have to lose? Oh. We're a fucking a talk show host. We have... We have the entire world at our feet, so let's just... We're above the law, okay? We're... We're, we're above the law. <laughs> Quickly, before the tenant could acknowledge him, Kyle grabbed Techno Jim by the shoulders, okay? Finding that Techno Jim's cardboard feet were bolted to the ground, Kyle started to pull upwards forcefully, okay? Maybe it wasn't a good idea to try to steal him. Mm -hmm. After several tugs, Techno Jim broke free, leaving one foot and one leg behind. Oh, poor, poor Jim. Kyle glanced at the attendant, who was staring bewildered and ran outside. We can just, yeah, just continue with your day. What do you do after stealing a cardboard mascot? You just continue with your day, dude. That's what you do. And Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and took a long, pondering look around him. Oh, this is basically the same thing. So we can visit the downstairs neighbor now with the stolen cardboard mascot, mind you. Approaching our downstairs neighbor door and we knock. And we have just, by the way, uh, if you look here at the bottom, we have six more hours to prepare for the interview and all that we have done is get into a suit of armor, eat our fridge and then steal a mascot from the local te technical store. <laughs> okay. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. She looked at Kyle expectantly. Mm -hmm. Greet and start conversation. Good morning, neighbor, said Kyle cheerfully. Gabby looked at Kyle expectantly. Asked Gabby about Rachel and asked Gabby about Gabby. Which... We should ask her about herself first, but let's just ask about Rachel because we have five hours left and we've done nothing to prepare. So ask her about Rachel, which Rachel was the philanthropist that we're gonna interview. Uh, in the evening, so. Gabby, Kyle asks, what are your true thoughts about Rachel May? Oh, Rachel, she's a wonderful woman. Her generous acts have inspired more good work than bad. Oh. Gabby trailed off, not meeting Kyle's eyes. After several uncomfortable minutes of silence, Kyle, Kyle turned around and left, so you're not just gonna, you're just gonna, like, not ask about that. <laughs> okay, we're going back to the street. And I think the only option is for us to return to the apartment, yeah. Which dot dot dot. Kyle hurried to the set, so... Sitting across from his host's chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity, which is good. 
Uh, as Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Approached her. Good evening, um, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Or we can interview Technogym instead. Okay. We can... Uh, that's gonna be like... That's gonna be very unprecedented. People aren't gonna expect that. So maybe it's gonna be a good idea to do it. So let's just do it. So Kyle roughly shoved Rachel out of her seat and placed Techno Jim in her stead. <laughs> Hello, Techno Jim. I'm going to interview you today. Kyle grasped, grasped Techno Jim's hand and tried to shake it, but instead tore it off the cardboard frame. <laughs> oh my god. Kyle's producer, sensing viral media, pulled the bewildered Rachel out of frame. Oh wait. That is my that is my kitchen timer. I'm, I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Kyle produce, Kyle's producer sensed to viral media and pulled Rachel out of frame, and he mentioned to the crew to go live. The cameraman moved, lights flashed, and suddenly the studio was on, on air. Hi, I am Kyle, <laughs> said Kyle, and tonight I'm going to interview a very special guest. <laughs> He pointed at Techno Jim using the dismembered arm, which is... That is just so... <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Techno Jim started to smoke from the heat of the lights. Oh no, he's caught on fire. <laughs> no. Would you like to introduce yourself? Knowing Jim would probably not speak, Kyle took it upon himself to be his voice as well. Hi, Kyle. He said, raising the pitch of his voice. My name is Rachel May and I'm a very special guest. <laughs> Rachel's expression of confusion turned to shock. Well, Rachel, you look way too thin and absolutely terrible. And you should feel ugly. Kyle gave Jim a meaningful stare. <laughs> wow, Kyle, I sure wish I could look like you. Techno Jim burst into flames. <laughs> Instantaneously, the sprinkler system initiated. The curtains of water poured down from the rafters. <laughs> Within seconds, the production equipment was doused in water and the set was a burst with electrical fires. <laughs> Kyle's crew abandoned their posts as cameramen and sound mixers to try to put out the fires. <laughs> as the crew scrambled around, the cameras continued to run. Kyle sat motionless, staring forward. Just, just straight ahead. <laughs> Eventually, the fires were all put out, and Kyle's producer shut off the broadcast, leaving Kyle's vacant stare as the final frame. <laughs> Kyle's ratings skyrocketed, which, of course, they were like, you were not expecting that, and neither was I. N none of us were. Techno Jim became a staple of the show, often ending up destroyed by the end of each episode. Although Rachel did not come back on the show, her cardboard portrayal Rachel was very popular. Rachel. <laughs> Kyle. Oh, okay, so we unlocked the first ending, which is, I think, was pretty fun. So, yeah, that was Kyle's Famous, and I really liked it. And thank you for watching, and have a great one. Bye bye.